What's going on? I'm Johnny DeBalsa with Tri Effort, and today is Monday, July 26. We're on to week 21 of this Ironman training vlog. Right now, we are 10 weeks out from Ironman Chattanooga, which is the A race of the year. And then uh, we're also going to be doing Ironman uh, Worlds in New Zealand in December, which is going to be another A race of the year that was added to the schedule. I think I say that opening every week, but I'm just trying to keep any new people updated. But yeah, so today um, we're just going to do a recovery uh, swim and bike workout. Yesterday we did the Fairport uh, Pirate Sprint Triathlon, so we're a little bit sore today. But I'm just meeting up with some of the uh, Fairport Tri group, and uh, yeah, we're going to get a nice little recovery in today, and we'll check back in. All right, swim complete. Um, did 1500 yards actually felt pretty good out there um, for a nice little recovery um, just working on my hip rotation a little bit because um, I always seem to forget that but yeah it felt good and now we're gonna get on the road bikes all right the group ride is complete but uh I'm getting some bonus time in on my buddy Michael's uh, Trek Madone I actually just ordered this frame set for myself and because um, I want a faster road bike because um, I might have the uh, bicycle racing bug but I want to figure out what groups that I want to put on that thing. So this has the uh, SRAM force on it. So I'm just seeing how uh, it shifts and whatnot. Very nice. See, I actually got the same exact colorway too. So um, it's just a good looking bike and I seen it for sale. So I had to uh, pick it up. So really excited for that to come in. All right, it is Tuesday afternoon after work right now. We are getting in a little road road bike ride, doing some uh, hill workouts. So I got uh, Mike with me and uh, my buddy Henry, the uh, hill climbing expert, is way up there because he just smoked us on this first hill. Um, but yeah, I had to recruit him for uh, some hill climbing expertise so I can learn a little bit how to get these legs moving up these hills. If you remember last week's video, I did that road race and I got dropped on all the hill climbs. So we're going to learn a little bit. All right, we are just about wrapping this ride up. We did a little over 31 miles. Um, average power shows 222. I'm at a little draft benefit today thanks to Henry. Henry secures the polka dot jersey for the day and he wins the stage. So look at that beautiful bike. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Smoked. A little bit of climbing. A little bit, oh, yeah. yeah. Hills are humbling. Very humbling. Yes. She did good today. Hope you guys were on your limit, because I was. <laughs> that was not mine. All right, it's Tuesday night. Um, got back home from the ride. The wife had some pizza. And now I'm down here because this bad boy came in. So this is the uh, frame set I was talking about yesterday whenever I was test riding my buddy Michael's bike, who has the same colorway um, as this thing. Uh, yeah, just trying to decide what group set I want to put on here. Actually, probably going to go with the SRAM stuff because I found some killer deals. And I like that they have a 10 tooth cog in the back. That opens up the window for some different gearing combinations. Yeah, I don't know. Like I say, just found a couple of really good deals and I'm a deal chaser. But anyways, really happy with the condition this thing's in. He said it had a couple little scratches. Um, that little thing and a chain drop uh, scratch or whatever. But this thing is beautiful. It's actually in really, really, really good shape. So really happy i'm gonna have a really nice bike in my hands for a fraction of the price and that's the way i like to do it um but yeah anyways i threw uh my montana wheel set on here um, just to make it look cool but i'm not sure um, if i'm gonna buy a new wheel set or what um that's the only uh, bad thing if i do go with the sram stuff i'll have to get a different um, driver and i won't be able to interchange the wheel set that easily and my tri bike's at an 11 speed i'm going to build this one up to be a 12 speed Eventually, I'd like the tri bike to have a 12 speed setup, but we're getting there. You know, we got to do this stuff uh, cost effectively and efficiently. And I'm just going to keep on rambling, but that's my Tuesday and I'm in a good mood. So, see you tomorrow. All right, it is Wednesday evening, 5 30 p.m. right now. Just wrapped up an hour uh, easy run. Don't have my GoPro on me, so I didn't film any of it, but we're going to do this little recap on the phone right now. Um, just did a seven miles didn't look at the watch at all for the run just took it easy and i uh, yeah, kept my heart rate in check and sweat a lot because it's very humid out here but yeah that's gonna be my wednesday and that's it gonna wrap that up all right it is thursday afternoon i'm out here on the road bike getting a workout in 
Um, this is a threshold workout. I have two 18 minute blocks of zone four uh, power threshold. So I'm targeting 300 watts for those. And I uh, actually just finished one. So we're halfway there and I'm uh, feeling pretty good about it. Um, I could definitely push a little bit more power on the road bike. So that's why I'm really targeting uh, 300 or above for these. And uh, yeah, like I say, feeling good. All right, I got 20 seconds before we start this uh, second and last 18 minute threshold here. So gonna get to it. All right, threshold's complete. Uh, we hung on to that one. Uh, I'll try to put the data in here somehow. So these are the workouts I always look forward to because I do a lot of easy work um, and you always kind of dread the uh, threshold workouts, but these are the ones that you really could push the body to the limit and uh, maximize your gains. So I, I don't ever like taking it easy on these workouts. You're really just cheating yourself at that point. Yeah, feels good to get it done. Um, it is my grandma's birthday tomorrow, so I'm riding over her house right now to celebrate with the fam today. Um, my mom got a cake, hoping it's an ice cream cake, but we'll see. We'll see, uh, we'll see what we get into. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna wrap up this workout. I'm gonna cool down for five more minutes and that's it. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna wake up early, do a sunrise swim and uh, e either an easy bike or run. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that when we get there. All right, checking out. All right, good morning. It is Friday morning, 7 a.m. right now. I'm gonna do a little sunrise swim. So the gang, they, they were here at 6 a.m. So they're already, they already checked out. They got their swim in, but I'm, I'm still here. I still made it. But yeah, so I'm gonna go get this done and then go take the road bike for a little recovery ride and get to work. And uh, I'm watching something on eBay. So I have an alarm set that I have to be out of the water so I could go bid on something. And then, uh, yeah, then get on the bike. Not gonna lie, it's actually pretty cold right now. So I'm hoping the water feels warmer. I'm not doing a wetsuit today, so we'll see. All right, swim complete. I only did 1100 yards because my goggles were, they kept leaking on me. So that's my first strike against the Magic Fives. Um, but I ended up getting them to seal around my eye a little bit better, but pretty frustrating. I stopped like five times, um, but yeah, gonna do a, uh, easy cool down uh not cool down like recovery road bike ride probably a half an hour or so i'm gonna go do the fairport loop but i got a bid on this bottom bracket for my uh new trek madone and i've been watching this for four days so i got 10 seconds left we're gonna do my max bid 75 bucks this thing's worth like 100 bucks and we wait to the last second see what we can do there was like six people watching this or something. So let's see if, uh, you gotta wait till the very last second if you wanna steal a bid off people. Hey, look, I won 20 bucks, $100 bottom bracket. Got it for 20 bucks, brand new. So that's cool. I was watching some other ones that I could have bought for like 80 bucks, brand new, but that's what we do. We wait till the last second and we got it in, cool. Um, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm frugal with my money, and that's how we uh, get stuff for cheap. I'm actually really happy with that. 20 bucks, that's super cheap. Uh, we got a hill climb here. There she is. The old lighthouse. Cool. We've reached the top. I'm actually really happy with that uh, eBay purchase we just made. 20 bucks, that's, that's really cheap for uh, what I just got. So that's cool. We're, uh, we're getting this bike built. Uh, this is the uh, Trek Madone that I'm building. And I have pretty much every part ordered on its way for it. So really happy with what I'm putting together. Um, I did go with the SRAM uh, group set. So I'm doing a mixture of the force and the red um, parts for that. Starting to get a little bit spendy with it. I'm trying to keep the, the build like, not budget, but trying to find all these good deals. And I am finding good deals, but I did order a, I found another pair of zip wheels I'm putting on it. So 
yeah, we're starting to get pricey with it, but it's still gonna be uh, way cheaper than uh, trying to pay retail for some of this stuff. All right, we are ending that ride with 11 and a half miles, 34 minutes, average speed, 20 mile per hour. So we hit the mark. Uh, I think my average power was 200 flat as well, or 199. It was like going back and forth a little bit there, but yep, there she is. Um, nice, really comfortable ride today. I did the uh, Fairport tri course in reverse to spice it up a little bit today. But yeah, felt good. Nice little recovery and got to get to work. I have an MRI appointment for my ankle later today. So we will see what damage we're dealing with. So hopefully good news there. Um, that's the uh, ankle issue I've been having. I think I have a little tear in one of my tendons there or the sheathing that straps the tendons down. Um, we'll see. We're hoping for a minor tear not a severe one so but we'll see um we'll figure that out later and yeah i gotta get off to work gotta change and eat some breakfast so good morning today uh, i really like these early morning early uh, friday morning sessions a um, nice little cap to my work week and it's nice that i get to go into work a little bit late and offset my hours so um really appreciative of being able to do that and i need to stop rambling and get to work yeah Good morning. All right, good afternoon. It is Saturday, literally just afternoon, like 12.02 right now. Um, we have a stamina ride on the schedule. It's like a three hour ride with some different varied intervals within that ride. But I'm just gonna do a long ride that should be, I don't know, 75 miles, maybe 100 miles, maybe whatever I feel like. And uh, we're gonna do some hill climbing and I'll try to squeeze in um, some of those interval efforts or whatever. It was like three rounds of Z4, Z3, Z4, I don't know, ten, whatever. A bunch of, a bunch of whatevers. And uh, we'll try to get it in there once we uh, get cooking on this. I'm 40 minutes in right now, about 15 miles in. And we got a really big hill climb coming up right now. So I'm gonna shut up and get to it. All right, we reached the top of that. Um, that was a definite zone five effort. That was uh, like 500 to 600 watts up that hill. Um, so one thing I learned talking with some people that know how to race and my buddy Henry, he does a lot of climbing. Um, it's okay to push the effort on the hill. A lot of times I like to sit in at whatever my uh, race wattage is supposed to be up in hill climb. But then you start kind of grinding the cadence and I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just trying to work on that sprint power going uphill and uh, get these legs to saddle up and get me to the top. We'll get there. Oh yeah, I'm on the road bike again today. I'm loving this thing. Pretty much been riding the cobbles for the past uh, three or four miles. Um, this route blows right now. Eh, whatever. Kind of like I'm gravel riding or something. But I would avoid this route on the way back if possible. All right, we are 51 miles into this ride. Two hours, 45 minutes. Um, I am regretting my earlier sprint effort hill climbs right now. Uh, my legs feel like I burnt some matches there, so something I'm going to take into consideration for longer endurance type rides. Um, don't blow up on the hills early on. So we'll reassess my hill strategy here. But all in all, I feel pretty good on this ride. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm probably going to get back at maybe 60 or 65 miles. So we'll check in whenever I'm done. All right, we are wrapping that ride up. 60 miles, 3 hours, 13 minutes. Um, average mile per hour 18.8 average watts 208 233 normalized yada 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 um, this felt good it was nice to get a longer ride in today I and mean, then I need to start doing uh, even longer rides than this um, because we are getting close to uh, Ironman Chattanooga and that's going to require um, yeah like I say some longer endurance rides and uh, just judging by how this um, just kind of stressed my body a little bit today I need a little bit more of this and a little bit less sprint triathlons <laughs> um, but 
yeah, this felt good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go eat some food and maybe I'll check back in, maybe not. I might do an easy run later today, so we'll see. Good morning, it's Sunday morning, 8 a.m. right now. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap up week 21 of this Ironman training vlog. And um, we're gonna do a post sunrise swim this morning because I didn't wake up early enough. Um, I actually got up like an hour ago, ate some breakfast and whatever, but just trying to get my sleep um, dialed in so I could handle uh, this training load and whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the beach, go do my swim and probably shoot for 2000 yards this morning and then uh, yeah, do my long run or try to get a long run in, see what the ankle does. Um, I did get that MRI, um, where's my disc? Didn't get it read yet or whatever, but did that Friday. So we're gonna see what's going on with this ankle. But yeah, hoping to be able to handle a long run today. So actually get in um, some double digit uh, mileage there and see what we could do. Um, I did set up all my nutrition for today's workout. Um, I have these cis, uh, energy gels. I have the better fuel with 40 grams of carbs in this and then the standard one with 22 grams i'm going to take this one before i start to swim i'm kind of like my pre-race gel i always take a pre-workout uh, gel as well um, and then i have this mortal hydration um, in this bottle um, i'm not probably not going to race with the mortal stuff but just uh, this has a thousand milligrams of sodium so that'll be something i use on the run a little bit today um, i do have my rhino power in this bottle in this bottle so there's 75 grams of carbs there and some sodium in there as well so i'm going to use this bottle um kind of intro workout pre-workout or whatever i'm um, just to sip on and then i'll run with this bottle um, i don't know if that makes sense i'm just kind of filling you in on how i fuel for some of these workouts this is pretty much what i use um, for the bike workouts for the running workouts i always have a fueling plan in place I don't know where I'm going with this, just filling you in on uh, everything I use here. A um, little update on my fueling strategy. But yeah, let's get to this one. All right, yeah, we're gonna go with the wetsuit today. Um, it's a little bit cold out there. Um, actually, I just wanna wear the wetsuit. I wanna get a nice long swim in, and I didn't bring a tri suit. I do have my tri cli Ambassador swim shorts on, which I didn't get to show off yet but um, it is a little bit cold out there, so I wanna wear the wetsuit today. And yeah, we're gonna go with that. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to get 2,000 yards. Um, if I'm feeling frisky, maybe I'll go longer, but we will see. Um, I haven't got a lot of yards in this week at all. In fact, I think I only swam once. So um, we'll see what we can do. All right, swim complete. We got 2,000 yards in. Um, felt really good out there today. The water was nice and smooth. Uh, my pace for open water was quicker than it has been lately for practice sessions so i don't know if i'm just starting to get my bearings back uh, in open water or, or whatever um, i just felt a lot faster at the end of last season than i did earlier this season but today feels kind of on par with uh, where i expect myself to be so wasn't pushing a pace or anything but just i could just tell i felt a lot smoother today so that's good and uh i'm walking up this hill um the lighthouse hill before I start my run because I want to talk to you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get my long run and now I'm gonna shoot to go for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I'm hoping to go get breakfast with Melissa, but I also have to work today, so we're gonna see what all we can fit in. And uh, I'm gonna get to this run now. All right, we are just about two miles in, and I realize I don't think I locked my car. Um, I have my key with me, but don't remember locking the car, so I'm gonna circle back and. Uh, just double check that and maybe grab a different water bottle or something so I have a little bit more uh, hydration for this run. Um, feel good though otherwise. So of course it was locked, but I think the universe just wants me to run this hill that I skipped out on earlier. So we'll do it, we'll get it done. So just a short climb. Ending that run at 10 miles exactly. We did an hour 20 minute run, 757 average pace, and I don't know if you can see that. Um, average heart rate was 139, and I did throw in two uh, mile intervals towards the end of that, just at like a 650 pace or whatever, kind of like a racy pace, um, just to get some some kind of a workout in there or whatever, speed some speed work. Um, but yeah, that run felt pretty good. Um, nice to get into double digits. Um, haven't been able to do that lately. 
so but i could tell this is kind of where my body's threshold is kind of at i don't want to push it too much but these next few weeks i'll try to keep doing double digit longer runs and uh maybe we could get some real real long stuff in but not super important for uh triathlon so much um ironman distance i don't think you have to do like a typical marathon build for these runs but i'd still like to see some 16 milers in there or whatever so we will get there but anyways uh, that was sunday's workout i um, feel real good about this week um i'll look at what my numbers were i think i did 13 or maybe even 14 hours of training this week so um yeah i'll try to throw that in here but yeah so that's the end of week 21 of this ironman training vlog i think we got what nine or ten weeks till ironman chatty and uh, we start again tomorrow here at fairport with the uh, group for week 22 so thanks for tuning in and uh yeah stick around for more